everyone, it's Monica with Advice to Think Twice, um, and welcome to my channel and welcome to the December 2016 Love Tarot Forecast, and I can't believe it's December, um, but here we are. Um, and um, for this month, because of my trip, Stormy and I weren't able to sync our schedule, so um, we're doing the uh, reading separate. I'm just doing the tarot portion uh, on my channel, but um, I still encourage everyone to go check out her horoscopes because I think they're great. So I'm still going to put a link to her channel in my description box. And um, that's it. I'm using the Romantic Tarot deck for the readings this month, same as always. And um, I hope that everyone enjoys the readings. I hope that you find them useful. Um, of course, happy, happy holidays. Have a wonderful Christmas. Um, and a wonderful new year. I hope all your new year wishes come true and um, I will be seeing you in January 2017 for Love Forecasts and uh, stay tuned for yearly love scopes because I'm working on those um, and I'll post them as soon as I can. Okay, so have a wonderful month and a wonderful new year. Um, enjoy your readings. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Hello everyone, this is Monica with Advice to Think Twice and I'm here with your December 2016 Love Tarot Forecasts. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, please make sure to watch your Moon and Rising Sun readings as well as Stormy's horoscopes to get extra insight as to what may be coming up for you in the month of December uh, regarding your love life. Um, so Cancer, let's just have a look at what is coming up, okay? So you have three major arcana cards in here, so that tells me that it's going to be a very significant month for you when it comes to your love life. Um, definitely see commitments happening. Um, people kind of coming out of the blue and telling you how they feel for some of you, or you finally revealing how you feel to someone else. Um, beautiful time of passion and I'm also getting new life so for some of you perhaps a focus on motherhood is happening this month um, your main energy your overall energy for the month is the high priestess so with the high priestess um, it does talk about things that are hidden or more going on than meets the eye however with these cards I'm not necessarily getting anything bad with this card it's just it could be a secret romance um, someone having feelings for you but not you not being aware of this or you have feelings for someone and you're not telling them how you feel um, the high priestess can also represent um, for some of you I feel like this is really coming out of your shell perhaps you may have been on your own um, because you wanted to be and so this is a month where you decide okay I'm doing some self-reflection and I think I'm ready for love and I think I want to go out and meet new people or I want to start a, a relationship um, the high priestess can also be revealing secrets to one another so meeting someone new um and starting to talk you know having those deep conversations where you talk about each other could be something like that for those of you it could be um i feel trusting your partner and trusting your relationship it could have been that perhaps until now you may have been in a one-sided relationship um where perhaps you were not opening up as much as you could have or your partner wasn't opening up as much as they could have and December is a good month to really have those conversations and just open up to each other and talk about everything that you know is concerning you or that you're afraid of and, and everything and kind of just lay those fears to rest either way I feel that it does talk about deepening emotions and relationships this month and the first week of the month we do have the Hierophant now the Hierophant can represent a Taurus person in your life. It can be Sun, Moon or Rising, but the Hierophant is um, a marriage card. For some of you, the Hierophant with the High Priestess, I feel like they, you know, these cards talk about eloping or getting married um, and not really telling people about it just yet or having a secret ceremony or a very small ceremony, um, very intimate um, around the first week of the month could be going on for some of you. For those of you, I feel that this could be a work romance, a work um, workplace romance. So you kind of have to keep it a secret because you're not sure how everyone else is going to react. Or this person could be your boss or you could be their boss. Um, and, you know, there's definitely feelings there. But I feel like it's best to keep it a secret until you're ready to uh, tell 
you know the people at the company or tell HR or you know inform whoever you need to inform um, I feel like you're waiting for it to for you're waiting to see if it's something that is serious before you actually go ahead and inform everyone is what this feels like for others you know this is I feel like it's a proposal coming to you out of nowhere. Maybe, you know, you haven't been with this person for very long or you've never talked about commitment before and out of the blue, they're coming up with this proposal. Um, and it kind of really surprises you, but at the same time, you know, it's a happy event. For those of you, I feel like this is just um, talking to someone's friends or talking to someone's you know circle of friends family acquaintances trying to get more information about a certain person that really caught your eye it could be coming up for some of you the second energy or the second week of the month we do have the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune is a major arcana card and the wheel of fortune with the high priestess for me in this instance talk about um karmic situations karmic relationships uh, soulmates popping up okay for some of you um, this is a very blessed change in your love life so you could be you know accepting someone's proposal or your proposal is, is accepted at this time for those of you this is definitely talking about new cycles within an existing relationship so perhaps this is a pregnancy um, happening for some of you and again you're just keeping it a secret until you're ready to tell everyone for those of you, I feel that there's definitely a, a sense of secrecy going on. Uh, but again, the cards I have are very positive, so I'm not necessarily getting that this is any, say, anything malicious um, or deceiving. I just feel like you're starting some things in your relationship or in your love life, um, and you're just keeping them to yourself. And that kind of adds to the romance of the whole situation um, until, once again, you're ready to... To bring more people into that situation or make people aware of what's going on you could be you know moving in together you could be taking a trip together and again you're not telling people about this or this is just taking things to the next level whatever that means for you whether it's you know living together or getting married or children whatever that means for you it's taking things to the next level and for those of you i do feel like this is a soulmate coming up and I feel like it's just coming out of nowhere. You're definitely not expecting this. You're not seeing this coming. And there's something about this person. And I hear Scorpio. Um, there's something about this person that just kind of draws you in. I feel like they're very mysterious. Or they have a very romantic um, energy to them in terms of, you know, um, something about, you know, the way they look at you or the way they, the way they smile at you um, kind of draws you in. I feel like you, you don't know how to read this person uh, or they keep surprising you with what they say and how they act. Okay, and there's definitely a very um, magnetic attraction there, something that you can't really put your finger on, can't really explain, but it's very, very strong and I feel like it's mutual. For those of you, I feel like this is healing a relationship. This is taking things to the next level as a result of some, some deep conversations um, around the second week. Around the third week, we do have the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups can be a water sign, so a Cancer, a Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, and the Queen of Cups is, for some of you, it is the soulmate that is coming in. And it talks about a deepening of emotions definitely um almost like a psychic bond there between the two of you because both these cards um are very um heavily charged energetically um it could be getting to know someone better again revealing secrets about each other to each other deepening your emotional connection deepening your emotional bond for those of you this again is a focus on motherhood with the queen of cups and the high priestess there And I feel like someone could be, you know, trying to get more information about you or you're trying to get more information about um, someone who really got your attention, someone who really caught your eye. Because I feel like there's knowledge, there's answers coming to you, so you're learning about this person. Whether they're sharing that information or their friends or family uh, are sharing that information with you. And around the fourth week, we do have the Ace of Wands. 
And the Ace of Wands is beautiful. It talks about new energy, new passion. Um, it talks about uh, very romantic times. It could be um, a spontaneous trip. Um, it could be romantic gestures. It could be um, lots of passion, absolutely. Um, and it could also be new life. So for some of you, it could be a pregnancy happening towards the, the fourth week of the month, absolutely. Or this is when you find out that you're pregnant. For some of you, I feel like this is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and I feel like this person is not really your, your usual type, and you're kind of, you know, sitting back and not really sure what to do, but what, what to do about this person, or you're not even looking at them as a potential romantic partner. But I feel like their energy and uh, the fact that they're so creative and so spontaneous and fun, I feel like they're really going to start to grow on you. Um, and you may start to date this person. And for others, you know, this is definitely celebrations. This is laughter. This is happy times with friends, with family, within your relationships. Um, and it is the holidays and it makes sense um, that this is what's going on for uh, for some of you. But overall, it looks like a really good month for love, excellent month for love. So um, I'm looking forward to your comments. Let me know how this plays out for you. Um, hopefully you enjoy the reading. Hopefully it makes sense and it helps. Remember to check your moon and rising sign readings as well as Stormy's horoscopes. Have a wonderful month. Happy holidays. And I'll talk to you in 2017. Take care.